A very warm welcome to Oxpoon, the technical magazine with Wolfgang Rudolph. Hello and a warm welcome. If you think I am cold, it isn't so. The scarf I can take off, I only wanted to say that we as humans regulate our body temperature ourselves. If it is too cold, we take a scarf or a jumper. But usually we regulate our body temperature ourselves. We don't have to think about it, it works automatically. That is a very complicated control circuit, and such circuits we have in the Technic. First of all, we have to tidy up with an error. I have brought a radio device with me, I could have took a radio or any other device, but up here I can set the volume. Normally you say it is a volume regulator, but is a spoken incorrectness. That is a volume setter, because a regulator would always regulate. For example, when I am traveling and the noise in the car would change and get louder. That would a volume regulator would automatically make it louder, and that I can understand. But that is only a volume adjuster, it only sets the volume. Regulating, that is a very complicated process. I have to know what to do, I have to regulate. For example, at home on a heater, the thermostat. You set a certain temperature and then the heater is regulated. That means that the flow amount of hot water through this heater, this would be accordingly to the thermostat inside. There is normally a bimembrane in them, or they are electronic to be set. That is a regulating process. But we have in the industry and technique, in many areas, very complicated regulating tasks. You cannot handle it with a thermostat regulator. For this we have to have technology where microprocessors are in. There are inputs in for different measured sizes and outs to switch or to steer. I had a problem in my caravan. The heating regulator was broken. I have repaired it myself and by the research I have come over different devices which were very interesting for me but for my little problem in the caravan much too complicated. But I would like to show you them because they are high-end devices. What I have here in the hand is really high-end, at its best. A simple device, which it looks like, but it has a very complex inside. As you can see here at the top, it has switched a relay output. I can switch two relays with it. There are different versions from this, PCC21, and have many, many possibilities to set different menus, different things. I have outputs, I have inputs. Here I'm in the set modus and I've here the possibility to lock it so that I cannot change things. I have also different units. I can say, for example, I want in decimal points. When not, I will after the comma set and so forth. It is very complex in its whole and we will look at the back. There is the connection row. Here we have the connection for 220 volts alternating current. With this it is connected and many other things. For example, up here I have analogs, inputs, outputs. I can put voltage in it, measure currents, 20 to 24 milliamps, 0 to 10 volt. That usually is what you have in this area. I have the potential relay free switch area. These are also simply by using the clamping strip accessible. The whole device, the C21 from PC, can be built in. It has here a so-called built-in frame. You can put it out, but I don't want to force it and push it back in. And when you go back to the normal mode, it shows what we are doing. So, so a small regulator which can not only on and off switch, but complex operations. 
PID operations. PID, that is the regulator with proportional as well as integral and digital of the regulator curve or regulator size defines that you can simple or complex set. It can also think for itself, an algorithm, and I've tried it by me, and it works really good. You don't have to think too much into it, the device sees itself something, and it doesn't regulate straight away brutally up, but as a smart function, a ramp function. All these things you can customize with this device, set and adjust to your own needs for your own machines and devices that you want to steer or regulate. And so set that they are optimal. So now I have here the PC, the RE72. This is also a high complex device. Let's have a closer look at it. We have here two displays, seven segment, both four digits. At the top I have the actual value, down here I have the should value, that I can naturally change and set. In this mode I am at the moment, I can store 15 different programs. Yes, store programs, how the device has to react. It can switch to relay outs, and also has current and voltage inputs. Let's have a look at the back. I have here attached the 230 volt power supply and then gone to here onto the analog inputs. I can naturally attach other things. I have attached here cables because I have attached a little battery to it to show you that you can also measure things with it. Voltage measurement, monitoring something, or you can attach directly temperature sensors. The menu offers many different possibilities which sensors are used without having too much effort. Now have a look at the front of the display when I attach this battery. Got to get it the right way around. It is a power pack and it is pretty empty. There you can see it has about 8 to 6.87 volts, 8.8. .8. So that means this is a device which you can directly build into a switchboard. Call up very complex ready to use programs you can also set the PAD regulator in its single parts and parameters. It can also set itself for the best parameter for this environment. It also has a soft start so that not when it is turned on it doesn't turn straight away to the maximum but goes up a sort of ramp up to a maximum set value and then it regulates. It can also simply switch things and you can maybe hear it sometimes clicking when it switches one of these regulators, it takes a moment, there now it does switch quickly. That is also signaled at the front, from PC, the RE72, a very complex part with which you can switch almost everything for inside of your own devices, with which you want to activate or program. The PCKD5 is here in front of me. Normally it is a panel or built-in instrument. You can see it here is built into a table casing. That has the advantage that you can externally stand or set up, even though you can build it into your own switchboard. At the front it only has this one socket, that is a USB socket, and the rest I have here a demo modus running, as you can see it is operated over a touch screen. I have different presentation possibilities. I can show my measured values like here large. I can show it as a bar chart and I can see the changes straight away. Also curve sign plotting and I can also simulate old pointer elements. It is all a touch screen, when I tap on it, I come into the different menus, the basic settings, the configuration, I can create new channels, and so forth. Channels, I have to say, 48 analog and input channels, 
48 binary input channels just to say the magnitude. They're all maximum values because the device itself has three slots and I can put different cards inside it. I have different possibilities. Here in this table case, we have here at the back, have LED out the analog inputs and outputs. We have here that is the power supply that's clear, a USB host and a network connection for an internet connection. I can get the internet over a normal IP address. I must have Yava running or it won't work. So a very universal high quality device. As you can see as a standalone device with a supplementary to order table casing. As a sole device then you have the normal connections on the back. A device with which you can do everything with. And I have to admit the complexity and the complexity of the menus which I had a look at, they have overwhelmed me. You cannot get that all at once into your head. You need a couple of days to get the optimal configuration, although this device helps you with it. Regulate the behavior to program, to set and to determine yourself, which you can later adjust. So the KD5 from PC for me at the moment the high end device that I have found. The smallest device which I've shown today is that here the C21 with up to two regulator outs. Complex in the way it does controls. And of course here is also a PED regulator built in. And soft start and similar things. The next one with a two row display with four places. You can read should values and R values simultaneously. You do not have to read them after another. This device with the term RA72 is also from PC. And the third device is built into a table casing. At the moment that gives it also without this table casing the KD5 and it is a real sensor monster up to 48 analog and 48 digital inputs and channels. You can equip it with different cards into the slots so a pallet that covers everything. A shame that my caravan is converted or I'd have known what to build into it. I wish you all a wonderful day and regulate everything good. Bye.